In the present video, we're going to present some graphics using draw. But instead of having functions plotted, we're going to provide points in the form of matrices to plot in the XY um, frame. So st we'll start by looking at or opening a new, a new uh, file here. And I'm going to generate points by using create list from a rule. And we're going to enter the rule to be 0 0.125 times i, say, starting from 1 to 200 in increments of 1. If I do that, I get all these numbers which go from 0 0.125 to 25. But suppose that you don't want to see the output because you don't need to see it. So you, you use the, um, the dollar sign then and, and enter. So you, the, um, the command is executed, but no output is shown. Now I'm going to define a function uh, three times, sorry, three times sine of x plus two times sine of x over two. And I'm going to make list two be that function applied to L1. If I do that right here, oh, I have a missing point right here. I'm going to repeat this line. And then in here, I'm going to do L1 equal to the most recent value. OK. So we store that value there. I, mean, I don't want to see that result, so I put the dollar sign. Then I activate this function, and then I made L2 equal to the function of L1. And again, we want to suppress the output this way. Okay, now I'm going to make a, uh, a list L3, which is going to be the list L1, list L2. Now, this is what is called a nested list. If I see the results, you get the list L1 starting right there and ending right here. And then the list L2 st are starting right there and ending at the end. Once again, if you want to suppress the output, just do this. <clears throat> then I want to convert this nested uh, list into a matrix, next lead to matrix. Apply a matrix to the previous result, which is actually L3. I'm going to repeat L3 here, comma, L3. And then again, that's a very long matrix. If you don't want to see that matrix, you can apply the dollar sign. So, and I'm going to make that last result equal to a matrix M1. Actually, no, actually, let's repeat that. It's going to be equal to the transpose. the last result. So it's going to be a column, a matrix with two columns. Actually, i got to be careful here because I want to make sure that I get the right matrix here. So I'm going to put those, these two lines in the same. So I know that when I apply matrix, the matrix M1 gets stored. Now I proceed to do a two-dimensional graph, static plot. And I'm going to enter a few spaces in here so I don't run out of space. Click to the right of the parentheses here and do points. Okay, so my points is a matrix, so I select matrix. Um, the matrix is called M1, so we're going to put M1 right here. We want those points connected, so we click twice there. And point type, I can tell you exactly which point is which one, but I'm going to sort of arbitrarily select point type number seven. And so when I press OK here, I get point type equals seven, point joins true, points transpose in one. Then I can proceed to do things that I've done before, like a title, and this is going to be like a graph by points with a matrix. In axis, we're going to enter, for example, x in millimeters. 
y in millimeters with x ranging from minus 1 to 26 and y ranging from minus 5 to 5. The last thing I want to add is a grid. I keep the traditional 1, 1. And we're ready to produce a graph right here. I'm going to delete all the spaces that I had. Okay, so I'm getting a line with um, blue circles connected. The blue color is sort of default. And if you want to change that, you can click here to the right, do enter and then go to the line color option here and select one of these colors. Let's say we select this, this color right here. That will be specified there and then your graph will follow that particular color. Okay, so that's the first example I wanted to present. The second example, we're going to do a list similar to the first one. And I use this is exactly the same. I'm going to produce values from zero, from one, from 1 point 25 to 25, and I want to not show the result. Then this is going to be a case of parametric equations. So I'm going to use the x and and y expressions and indicator right here. Separated with the dollar sign will mean that the functions get defined, but the output is not shown. And then I'm going to make L2 to be x evaluated in line in list L1, L3 to be y evaluated in list L1, and suppressing output. Then I'm going to make L4 to be the nested list L2, L3. And I forgot to put the, the dollar sign there to suppress the output. And then I can start applying my graphics now. Oh, wait. I want to convert that to, um, to a matrix by using nested list to matrix. Apply matrix to list L4. Put the dollar sign there and then make M1, or whatever name I want to make, equal to the transpose of the previous result and put the, the dollar sign in there. Now I can start going with my graph 2D. Okay. And add some spaces here. Click back in front of the parentheses and go for points. Again, my matrix M, which is called M1, is a matrix. The points, we want to connect them. And this time we want we want um, points type four, for example. Okay, so that's the basic character of the graphic. The next stuff is um, titles. Now to iPhone. So with the title graph by points, case two. And then add labels and ranges with the axis button. X meters, Y meters, ranges for X from minus 3 to 3, and Y from minus 4 to 4. And a grid 1, 1. If I don't specify color for the line, it comes out in blue color. And it turns out that the, that the symbol type 4 is a square. When I change the, the colors, click in front of the parentheses, press enter, go to line color. And let's change this to a, uh, I don't know, this right, kind of wine color. And this is our result.